Has someone told you that privatizing Nebraska's electric utilities would be better than our public power model? Do you know the difference? In 1936, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, sitting beside Nebraska's own Senator George Norris, signed into law the Rural Electrification Act. Private, investor-owned utilities saw no profit in bringing electricity to rural areas, so rural Nebraskans came together, formed public power districts and electric cooperatives, and electrified our farms and ranches. Even today, the decisions that govern your not-for-profit rural electric systems are made by locally elected consumer owners. Unlike investor-owned utilities, there are no majority shareholders making decisions to maximize their profits. Only locally elected individuals that receive the same service that you and I do. With local control also comes access. Unlike private power suppliers, public power board meetings are open to the public. If you have a concern, you can attend the board meeting and be heard. Try doing that at a private electric utility. Public power means your rural electric utility knows you and has deep roots in your community. It's your family, your friends, and your neighbors that work for and operate your power district. It's their job to quickly respond and get your lights back on during an outage. Not a large company headquartered out of the state. Not-for-profit public power is why Nebraska's electric rates are 15% below the national average. Our governing board members have a stake in every decision they make and have a sincere concern for their community. The bottom line is, you are an important member owner of Nebraska's all-public power model. Public power, it is affordable, reliable, and it can be trusted. There is no better system.